a grave report has come from the land of Jerusalem. Pope Urban II paused for a moment. Almost everyone in the French town of Claremont had gathered outside the cathedral to hear his speech. Muslim armies have invaded Jerusalem. They are slaughtering Christians, destroying churches and laying waste to the kingdom of God. The crowd gasped, horrified by the image of the holy city destroyed by Saracens, the name they used to describe Muslims. In fact, neither Jerusalem nor the Christians living there had been affected much by the Seljuk conquest of the area. But the Pope wanted people to believe otherwise. The Pope didn't just want to help the Christian ruler there. He wanted to capture Jerusalem from the Muslims. To do so, he needed an army. Christians of Europe, the Pope urged, you have sworn duty to protect the holy city. You must unite in a war to reclaim Jerusalem from the Saracens. One of the bishops among the crowd stepped forward and kneeled before the Pope. I will go and march to Jerusalem. Suddenly, several others in the crowd raised their hands, cheering, March to Jerusalem! March to Jerusalem! God wills it! God wills it! It was the November 27, 1095, and the Pope had just launched a holy war. News of the Pope's speech spread fast. Soon all of Europe was gripped by a religious frenzy. People have started shouting in the streets, Saracens have invaded Jerusalem, march to reclaim the holy city. In Italy and Germany, thousands of people stitched red crosses onto their clothes, a sign that they would march to Jerusalem. In his speech at Claremont, the Pope had promised that whatever sins they have committed on this holy war would be forgiven. People even believed that anyone who killed a Saracen would gain a place in heaven. To most knights, the temptation of the Crusades were irresistible. These men were the sons of wealthy nobles who had trained since childhood to fights. But for poor people who wanted to join the crusade, there was no reason to wait. Life for them was terribly hard. Rats and fleas spread diseases in the crowded streets. Each year, thousands of parents watched as their children died of starvation. Many of them saw crusade as a holy adventure that would somehow lead them to better lives in the East. Soon, hundred thousands of them were ready to march to Jerusalem.